students today we discuss about the another part of refraction of light this is uh, fifth lecture of refraction of light so today we discuss about the uh, another part that is spherical surface okay so what is spherical surface spherical surface it is a um, reflecting material um, reflecting material which separate which separate the two medium a part of a sphere spherical surface is a part of a sphere whose separate the two medium okay generally we get two type of spherical surface one is concave and other one is convex spherical surface okay so concave spherical surface and convex spherical surface okay so there are two type of spherical surface first one is what is spherical surface the reflecting is a refracting material part of a sphere that is spherical surface okay reflecting material part of a sphere is known as spherical surface we get two type of spherical surface first one is convex convex spherical surface and second one is concave spherical surface okay a spherical surface separate the two transparent media that means one is rear medium and another one is dense medium okay if the spherical surface is concave that means outward if the spherical surface is outward towards the rear medium that means it is a convex spherical surface like this this is this is this is con fix that means this concave part so this sorry convex this convex part is outward direction that means towards towards rear medium okay sorry uh, this convex part towards the rear medium this is rear and this is denser if the convex part of the spherical surface is facing towards the rear medium then it is convex spherical surface if the concave part of the spherical surface concave part of the spherical surface is facing towards rear medium this is rear and this is denser okay so this is denser and this is rear medium so this part is known as concave so this is convex and this is concave okay so it is a part of a sphere okay like this like this suppose we know in case of mirror mirror is a part of a spherical mirror is a part of a sphere so this is this is a sphere okay so if you cut this part like this if you cut this part like this then we get this is a spherical surface this is a spherical surface suppose a spherical ice ball a spherical ice ball is divided into two equal part like this if a spherical ice ball is divided in two equal part like this then it form a spherical surface so this is called a spherical surface okay so this spherical surface is a part of a sphere okay so the center of the sphere is known as center of curvature spherical surface potiharok mane gulokyo potiharok pishtha gulokyo potiharok pishtha jitu jitu potiharok pishtha eta gulokor ongho bikhe tak ki boli koha hoy gulakar potiharok pishtha boli koha hoy thik ache e gulakar potiharok pishtha dui dhoronor first one is concave spherical surface second one is convex spherical surface okay concave spherical surface and convex spherical surface uttol akar aru obotol akar hol thik ache ami yat e spherical surface or khetra ami kichu one definition pao he definition kini ami dekha chaicho dei thik ache so first one is definition related with 
<coughs> the things are related with spherical surface. So first one is pole. Pole. I mean mirror can talk about pole pasil, mirror pasil. Pole. So what is pole? Spherical surface is a part part of a sphere. That means this is the part of a sphere. The central point of the spherical surface. This is midpoint. This midpoint of the spherical surface is known as pole. It is a mirror cut this is so the midpoint of the one definition of the kilo barrier. The midpoint of the spherical surface is known as pole. So this is pole. Okay. So next point. Center of curve. Pole is denoted by P, center of curvature is denoted by C. Center of curvature. So we know. Center of curvature means we know. The spherical surface is a part of a sphere. Spherical surface is a part of a sphere. The center of the sphere is known as center of curvature. Okay. Similarly, radius of the sphere is also known as radius of the curvature. That means radius of the spherical surface. So third point. This is radius of Curvature that is R. Center of curvature C, radius of curvature R. Okay? The point passing through the center of curvature and pole is known as principal axis. Axis passing through the center of curvature and pole. This is this is pole and this is center of curvature. So this is principal axis. Principal axis. Fourth point. Principal axis. That means PC is the this is principal axis. They passing through the center of curvature and pole is known as principal axis. Okay. So here you see in case of concave spherical surface, this center is obtained in rare medium. In concave spherical surface. Center of curvature is obtained in rare medium, so its radius of curvature becomes negative. Okay, in case of concave spherical surface, concave spherical surface of thought, center of curvature could form a rare medium or form that means it is formed in front of the mirror, also in front of the spherical surface, so its radius of curvature is negative. Similarly, its center is obtained behind the spherical surface. Okay, that means in denser medium. So here this radius of curvature becomes positive. In convex, radius of curvature is positive, and in concave spherical surface, radius of curvature is negative. Okay, here R is positive, but here R is negative. This is concave. In concave, R is negative. In convex, R is positive. Okay. So now, <clears throat> now we discuss about the reflections through spherical surface. How reflections takes place in spherical surface. Okay. So first one is reflections through convex spherical surface. <clears throat> This is convex, this is rear medium, this is tensor medium, its reflective index is mu2 and its reflective index is mu1. So reflections throw reflections throw
one of the eggs. It's pretty good. Sorry, please. One of the eggs, pretty good. Sorry, please. Take us. This thing goes in. Take us. Okay. So this is an object. This object is considered at that point. This is object. A ray of light coming from the object. Object is considered in the Ray of light coming from the object is incident at that point. So this is point of incidence. So if you draw a normal at that point, a to I point of incidence. A point to the I mean a normal draw point. A to A point will equal. So this is point A. Capital A. This is capital A. If we draw a normal at the point of incidence, this is center of curvature C. <coughs> After reflections, the ray of light bends towards the normal. That means it is denser medium. Ray are denser. Bends towards the normal like this. So this is I image. This is real image. So this is angle of incidence. This is angle of incidence. And this is reflected ray. So this will be a to angle of refraction. This is alpha. Angle made by incident ray with the normal, sorry, with the principal axis is known as alpha. Angle made by refracted ray with this, this is beta. Here, this angle, this angle, I mean, A, I, C, this is beta. And A, C, this is pole. A, C, P, this is gamma. A, C, P is gamma. Okay? This is alpha, this is beta, and this is gamma. At the point O, this is alpha. At the point C, so at the point I, beta. At the point C is gamma. Okay? So now, from this, uh, here we can apply Snell's law. We can apply Snell's law, extra angle theorem, and some of the uh, measurements, that means 10 measurement. Okay. So now we draw a normal on the principal axis from the point A. Draw a normal. This is and draw a normal okay so from this we get from the extra angle theorem from the exterior angle theorem we get if we consider a triangle a <coughs> a o c if we consider a triangle it will first it will be something if we consider a triangle a o c here x triangle is i i is x triangle and interior angle is alpha and gamma I do the Bohiborti Kunho, a Bohiborti Kuno Popadro, Bohiborti Kuno Popadro Pasilo, the Bohiborti Kun, Duroborti, on Tostakun Dutarma, or Homosti Homa. So extra angle is equal to sum of two remote interior angle. I equal to alpha plus gamma. This I equal to alpha plus gamma. Okay? Again, a copaso A, I, C, Pra, on the sound. This is R. A to beta, A to gamma. Yet yeah, extra angle ki? Gamma. Hain? So this is gamma is extra angle. So gamma is equal to R plus beta. From now from triangle A C I. Gamma equal to R plus beta. So this R equal to gamma minus 
beta. Okay? Gamma minus beta. Okay, so now here we get uh, if you are applying Stan's law in this case, if you are applying Stan's law, we get this is equation number one, this is equation number two. Now applying Stan's law. Applying stance law, this mu one sine i equal to mu two sine r. Mu one sine i equal to mu two sine r. Okay, mu one sine i equal to mu two sine r. So here angle of incidence is very small. So this sine i can be written as i. That means here theta is very small. Angle is very small. Here all angles are small. Alpha, beta, gamma, i, r, all are small. Okay, because these all the rays are paraxial rays. Okay, all the rays are paraxial. That means it is in this case parallax method is applicable. Okay, so all are paraxial. Okay, so this angle can be written as sine i tends to i. So it will be written as mu one i equal to mu two r. This is equation number. Three. Equation number three. Okay. So now applying one and two in equation number three. Now applying one and two in equation three. Equation three. Let me apply. Let me apply. Then the mu one is I means alpha plus gamma and mu two R means gamma minus beta. So here you get mu one alpha. Is the name bracket hango? Hangi ko lai? Eto the name yeh phale loya ho. Plus mu two beta equal to mu two mu 2 gamma ya pola ba mu 1 gamma etu jodi ami phale le jao to gamma common mu 2 minus mu 1 gamma thik ase so mu 1 alpha plus mu 2 beta equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 gamma okay so now you draw a normal from the point a in this so this is normal so here n is n is normal but here you see the point P and N are close to each other. P and N are close to each other, so distance between them is negligible. P and N are close to each other, so distance between them is negligible. Okay? So, in uh, class 11, we get in between linear displacement and angular displacement. Linear displacement S equal to R into theta, where theta is angular displacement. S equal to R theta. Ki pai silo? That is, that ami pai silo. This S equal to R into theta. Class 11. In rotational motion. Okay? This S equal to R into theta. S is linear expression. Theta is angular expression. Okay? So, this S equal to R theta. So, here we get this linear expression equal to R into theta. So, theta is angular expression. This theta equal to how much? S by R. That means here S is perpendicular and R is base. Okay? So this theta equal to theta can be written as S by R. Okay? S by R. That means S means P. P means perpendicular and R means base. Here. This perpendicular by base. Okay? So here if you consider this is alpha. This alpha equal to A n by OP. Okay, that means it is applicable as a 10 measurement. Okay. So this alpha can be written as 10 alpha plus 10 beta equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 then 
so here in the here you can write a sentence here you can write a sentence here what is this sentence kibuli likhio pa yat to ke ta sentence likhio pa kibuli here angle is very small angle made by incident ray and a refracted ray with principal axis is very small okay here all the rays are present ek hinda likhio pa kibuli here angle is very small therefore this this can be written as this alpha tends to tan alpha beta to tan beta and like this okay so now tan alpha what is tan alpha tan alpha is equal to perpendicular by base so me one a n by o n tan alpha equal to plus tan beta equal to same a n by beta this is beta okay so this a n by n i next mu two minus mu one this tan gamma equal to gamma this is gamma a n by and c and c so this a n a n cancel all are cancel then we get mu one by o n plus mu two by n i equal to mu two minus mu one by n c okay so this mu one by o n plus mu two by n i equal to mu two minus mu one by n c okay this it is wrong this o n this o n o n equal to o p that means n and p when you can tell you here the distance between n and p is negligible has in this will give you will give you the distance between n and p is negligible okay therefore negligible ami to moharo upar to mohai disu negligible to the hoy then mu1 by o n means o p plus mu2 by p i equal to mu2 minus mu1 by pc ami jodi sign convention apply karo tetial ami a con u guli dhoribo parim this is u this is r and this is p okay so mu1 this is u means in front of it so it is minus plus mu2 behind it so it is plus equal to mu2 minus mu1 p c means this is r okay so here we get mu2 by v minus mu1 by u equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r so this is the spherical surface formula so this is this is spherical surface formula so what is this mu2 by v minus mu1 by u equal to mu2 minus mu1 divided by r so this is the spherical surface formula so here which point will be considered first one is exterior angle second one is stan's law next is applying stan's uh, substitute this values next then measurement and sign convention okay so this is the formula okay so now we discuss about how refractions takes place in concave spherical surface so this is concave spherical surface okay so this is the point p this is point p and this is point o this is object area of light is coming from the object to object yata ki so this is rear meter this is then submitted rear meter refracting this mu1 then submitted refracting index mu2 
area of light coming from the object are incident at the point this this is the point of incidence okay so this is point a okay so if we draw a normal at the point of incidence a point to the diameter normal draw for the normal that and again so this is normal okay so this normal is passing to the center of gravity this is c center of gravity we know the rays of light reflected ray bends towards the normal after reflection when it travel from ray medium to denser medium when it travel from ray to denser the reflected ray bends towards the normal okay like this it is bends towards the so this angle is ki angle hobo it says this is reflected so what a diagram to for dictator a diagram to ekdom hor poke samle this is r this angle is r reflected angle and inside it inside it that means o a c this is angle i eto ma yat likhi chu this is angle i this is angle i okay so if you a angle to a to gami ene ke koisu i bhi koisu so if this reflected ray is axis on back side like this then it okay so this angle inside this is i point i a c that means c a i it is r c a i this is r moi ekhin ta likhi disu moi yat likhi disu angle kita is a subidha kana kona subidha kana moi likhi disu ki bol likhi so se angle angle o a c o a c equal to i next angle c a i c a i angle r এটো বুজিবলৈ সুবিধা হব c a i equal to r angle made by incident ray with the principal axis this is alpha that means a o c a o c equal to alpha this is beta a i c a i c a i c this is beta and this is gamma this is gamma a c p a c p this is gamma tomar khubidha kane e to ek ta ya likhi disu ki boli bujibole khubidha hobo tomake draw korte eta khubidha hobo ki o a c pointe dekhi sa o a c e to i thik ase o a c o a c equal to this is inside the angle c a i C A I. This is R inside the angle. A O C A O C alpha. A I C beta. A C P. Come on. ठीक है सर? मुझे बोला कौन रहोगे? So now applying. First applying Stan's law. So here the object is O, image is I, and C is center of gravity. So all the measurements are obtained. in front of the spherical surface okay so now applying snell's law applying snell's law eto to kon tonge nije koribo leibo the snell's law ami ki apply koisilu snell's law paisilu the mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r so mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r okay so here this angle is very small angle of incidence is small already ami ago part to koisu convex spherical surface to koisu angle is very small okay or here the diagram to that so what is this incident ray and this reflected ray it is ekdom ekena bathu nai jay it is bends okoma slight normal of the bend hoyse eto eneke koise na hoy sidha eneke jorge nai okoma eneke bend hoyse thik ase this is normal surface like this edal normal enake edal incident re edal enake common bend hoy black hoy sile 
ठीक है डायग्राम तो फल के साथ सो दिस एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस वेरी स्मॉल जो दिस एंगल तो बहुत कोड होगा जितना हमें तो क्यों लिखो पाइन जब म्यू वन आई इक्वल टू म्यू टू आर इक्वेशन नंबर वन तो उनके साइड लिखी थोड़ा बोले द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज वेरी स्मॉल ओके बोले कि बात एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज वेरी स्मॉल कौन है पैसा ना? Angle of incidence is very small. Okay. So now from extra angle theorem, बहुत बढ़ती कौन? Extra angle theorem. बहुत बढ़ती कौन और कोई बेटर पैसे लो? जब तुम जब बहुत बढ़ती कौन रहो तो यहाँ तो स्टाफ कौन और हमारा? तो ठीक है अभी पहला हम triangle तो हम triangle AOC. AOC ये दिले क्यों बिल दिले? एओसीएल गामा इक्वल टू आर प्लस सॉरी गामा इक्वल टू ओएसी प्लस एओसी गामा इक्वल टू कंट्रा ट्रायंगल तो आई ले ओएसी तो ले गामा इक्वल टू होगे ओएसी डेट मींस आई प्लस आई प्लस की बिल्कुल पास हो एओसी डेट मींस अल्फा गामा इक्वल टू आई प्लस अल्फा आपको ट्रायंगल लेता पालो कि बिल्कुल पालो ए आई सी ए आई सी पर आपालो कमा इक्वल टू आर प्लस बीटा ए आई सी पर आपे पालो कमा इक्वल टू आर प्लस बीटा आपको ठीक है हमें यहाँ पर ये पर हमें आई टू लेफ्ट है वो पर यहाँ पर तो हमें आई टू साउ ए पार्ट टू पर ये तो पाई टू ले जो आई टू रॉकर हो गया आई पे लुक गामा माइनस अल्फा आपको यहाँ पर ट्रायंगल ए आई सी पर आप आए सो गामा इक्वल टू आर प्लस बीटा तो ठीक है आर इक्वल टू गामा प्लस बीटा आर इक्वल टू गामा प्लस बीटा इधर ही आई और आर फिर तू इक्वेशन नंबर वन अपडेट कर दो आई और आर सब्सिट्यूट फिर लोफ आई एंड आर in equation 1 this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 3 substitute 2 and 3 2 and 3 do you have to name act number equation of put quid in equation substitute 2 and 3 in equation 1 2 and 3 2 equation 1 of put quid left keep on the mu 1 Alpha, alpha means, alpha means, gamma minus alpha equal mu two, gamma minus beta. Okay. Break the bracket, bracket does the same. We hang it Mu one gamma. माइनस मी वन अल्फा इक्वल तू मी टू का मा माइनस मी टू बीटा मी वन अल्फा माइनस मी वन मी वन अल्फा का मा माइनस मी वन अल्फा इक्वल तू मी टू का मा माइनस मी टू बीटा ये अपर आमी ये अल्फा और बीटा तो लेफ्ट साइड लेता हूँ और का मा तो राइट साइड लेता हूँ ए तो एफ लेता हूँ mu2 beta minus mu1 alpha equal to mu2 minus mu1 gamma ekta ami mohai dio ekta agoto gote ami ya rakho 10 use kore pai mu2 10 beta minus mu1 then alpha equal to mu two minus mu one then gamma. I will use this. The then beta, then beta equal to how much? I mean, I will draw. 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 Mu two a n by o 
beta ni minus a n by mu 1 a n by alpha se angle alpha so a n by o n mu 2 minus mu 1 10 gamma equal to a n by n c a n by n c so a n n cancel we get mu 2 by n i minus mu 1 by o n equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 by n c same ago to take a meter by so here all are obtained Ekhi ni mohai diyo Ekhi ni tika yasa Agor pa tik dama ke Ami e meza men gita zari swa hai This is u This is u O n This is v And this is r Up to cp Negative. We get n i here n i equal to n p equal to b minus b n o that means o n o n equal to o p equal to minus u n c equal to p c equal to minus i. Equation in the name yet put koido ni mu 2 divided by ni means this minus b minus mu n by minus u mu 2 minus mu 1 by minus i. Yes, it will be the car pass out. It will be the kilo, the car pass out the diami e minus gita the diami. Cancel the same is home. The Tale, who see the the Takiwaki, the mu to by V minus mu one by U equal to mu two minus mu one by R. Take us, I mean, minus it. So this is the formula mu two by V minus mu one by U equal to minus mu one by. It am a kid, hello, really hog bar, partially hog. But concave surface hog by convex spherical surface hog, the Tiahole, a mark A formula to a k table. Mu two by V minus mu one by U equal to mu two minus mu one by R. Yes, practice square bar. Puricat of hundred to four bar, five marks of an adibo pare, but three marks of an adibo pare. It is depends on examiner. Examiner does not depend on the They actually give one marks of an equation to Kabisa. I mean, to go on or Ramizadi Pabo, the remorsely more distinct from this how in my view. It will be 5 marks question or 4 plus 1 marks question. What is spherical surface and reflection through convex spherical? The actor reflection through spherical surface 4 plus 1, 5 marks. Okay, so next class we discuss about lens. Okay.